Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you can? Why did you fuckers tell me I can do this? Where the fuck is he? I'm just gonna backtrack. Just tell me where to go. I just want to suck this fucking guy off. He's definitely getting my fucking pussy on first date. Absolutely. I'm giving out. I'm fucking... <laughs> oh my god, there he was! Oh, hello, dear darling. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Whew. Oh shit, we're going back. My house! Oh, we're putting out. Dude, he's blazing! He's blazing in the fucking top right corner. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. Oh god. <clears throat> this guy has to have the mentality of a child, right? So I guess dating's okay. Oh. What are you looking at? I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave. I just, was there something weird in there? I, I, I just won't even look, man, sorry. Welcome to my scenic house. Enjoy and take your time. When when, when do we get the whole pans? Let's see. Let's do some more exploring. I'm saving the fucking the the hot box for last. Stop! Stop watching me, man. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! <laughs> oh man. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. How can I fit more bones under it? Take a look-see. Oh now, yeah. Oh! Big cutie. <gasps> what? Catch that meddling canine! Cusses. Our boy's blazing up there. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to uh, bring it back in my room? Forget it. That's my room. If you finish looking around... We could go in and uh, do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> Just g g g give me, give me a second, baby. Give me a second. I know your bones are getting hard. Just one second. Got to blue ball you just a tiny bit. I mean, you blue hearted me literally last fight. So what the fuck do you want from me? The door is locked. Fuck. All right. He's got the little race car bed. Oh, <laughs> he's got the flame rug. Oh, it's just so fucking cute. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. 
always sending me bad puns in front of a groovy font. Isn't that flag neato? Undying found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Do you do you want to start the date? Let's go. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our first date. I've actually n never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Mm, let's see. Uh, step one. Uh, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Whoa. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. No! That's not how you say it! Fortunately, it only says to ask. I guess that means it's time for part three. Oh, consent! Put on nice clothes to show that you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? No! You planned it all! You're way better dating than I am! No! Your dating pal! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily cup up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Let's go! Now, what do you think of my secret style? No. A genuine compliment? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore... What you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. I guess we'll do shoulders first. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? <laughs> There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat? My hat? <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present. Just for you! Don't. Do you know what it is? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right-o! But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. 
silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Hillman, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Bitch. You mean... You're letting me have it instead? Because you know how much I love pasta. Impossible taking my present and turning it around on me. Ugh. Ugh. No! <clears throat> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, oh, shoot. Human, I. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you get through these trying times. I'll keep trying, your cool friend. I'll, tr I'll keep trying to be a cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose a friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well... Gotta go. Yeah. <sighs> I tried so hard. I really thought he was the one for me, man. I, I really did. Thought I did everything right, man. Yeah, show me what's in here. Okay. Well, since I can't have the perfect man, I guess it's time to fucking whore around and go suck Sans dick. Oh, God, it's so hard to be a fucking whore nowadays. Time to fucking dress up as cosplay and go suck a fucking dick. I, I need to... Oh, God. Before I go down a bad road of sucking every man's dick that I see, I need, I need to call Mom and ask her for advice. Maybe she'll snap me out of it or something. The one time I needed you, Mom. 
I know you're going through all your own emotional turmoil right now, but... Yo, are you sneaking around? Out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> uh, what? Haven't you seen a guy with uh, two jobs around here before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally the required ranks. I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Maybe if mom answered the goddamn phone, I wouldn't have went out and sucked fucking dicks, but here we are. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, no shortcut. Whoa! Dude, the whole fucking gang's here! They got a little bunny with swirly eyes! It's the freaking Pokemon! Spit, twist, twist, twin, twist, twist, twill, spring, brrrr! Man, shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least a half an hour. You must be thinking of a brunch. A uh, brunch. I'm sorry, I fucked that one up. Here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos place whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'm not gonna go out to a fucking restaurant and get fries. That is that's fucking stupid. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have a double order of a burg. So, uh, what do you think? I'm oh, my brother. Uh, it, I mean, it's hard. Like, he is cool. I literally am in love with Papyrus. He did just reject me, though. So do I say he's uncool to whore myself out and maybe get some easy dick suckage from Sans if I say he's uncool? Mm. He's a great guy. But like I said, I'm, I'm in this kind of emotional turmoil. My heart is literally broken in two. I always chose the side of Papyrus because I thought that that's what Sans would like as well. I feel like I was winning both battles if, if I did that. So fuck it, I'll, I'll just I'll continue with that. Because yeah, I think suck and sand stick might be better if I say cool. Of course he's cool. You'd he be cool too if... if <laughs> you'd be cool too if you wore that outfit all day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh, well. At least he washes it. And by that, I mean... He wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? More for me. Ooh! Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of that royal guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him get in. Of course, he shut the door on him because he was at midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's still a work in, uh, in progress. Also, when I was looking at the word it's through my peripheral vision, I thought that the last word was poggers. Too much Twitch, man. Oh, yeah. Wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around. 
flower appears and it whispers things into him. Into him, yeah. Flattery, advice, encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. So can you foot the bill? <laughs> it's just 10,000 G. Fucking yeah, hell yeah. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Whether the the Bergs are literally still here, bro. Okay. Also, my hair color is the exact same as this bar. Yes. My big fucking boy. I. It's playing poker against. <laughs> It appears to be losing. Alright. 